to react. Lila Rose, founder and president of Live Action, a pro-life organization that advocates to end abortion. Lila, welcome. It's so good to have you with us this evening. Um, so this case, what is the significance of the court taking up this particular case and with the new 6-3 to three conservative majority? It's hugely significant. First of all, with the six to three uh, conservative, as they say, majority in the Supreme Court right now, we could see a tremendous blow to the precedent, the, I think, unconstitutional precedent that was set in Roe v. Wade and in the subsequent court cases over the last few decades. Uh, Roe v. Wade, even many legal, even many pro-abortion legal scholars agree, was poorly decided. Uh, many people today don't even know what is it continues to change the ground is very murky and that's because you can't legislate away an entire group of human beings rights the children children that are in the womb i mean it's time for the law and the supreme court to catch up with science which is crystal clear that human life begins before birth uh, and that the only difference between a preborn child whether that child is 10 weeks old 15 weeks old or moments before birth and us a born human being is our age and our level of development so I'm looking Lila. forward to how SCOTUS and the Supreme Court will rule on this. Lila, I want you to uh, get you to respond to this. A federal judge, as you know, uh, in the lower courts in Mississippi overruled the law saying that the state chose to pass a law it knew was unconstitutional to endorse a decades-long campaign to ask the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Lila, what's your response to that? They're wrong. I mean... Ultimately, there's an argument to be made that because the Supreme Court decided in Planned Parenthood v. Casey that, uh, that there's a certain age of viability, that a state can ban the, ch ban the killing of a child before or after by viability, that they're therefore saying that this Mississippi ban on a ch killing a child after 15 weeks in utero is unconstitutional, and they're wrong. I mean, the Constitution, nowhere in the Constitution does it say there's a right to abortion. Nowhere mm. in the Constitution says, says that there's a right to kill. Instead, the Constitution, under the 14th Amendment, actually, promises equal protection for all human beings and says that no state has the right to deprive the right to life of any of its citizens. So if we acknowledge science that human life begins before birth, those rights just should extend to children before birth, just like we extend them to the children after birth. So I'm looking forward to see uh, the Supreme Court chip away at the unjust and unconstitutional, quite frankly, precedent that the past Supreme Court has set that I think was very politically motivated and not based on the Constitution. All right. Lila Rose with Live Action. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having me.